Adjust the microphone where honorable you Right honorable speaker, first of all, I want to thank you for the opportunity. Secondly, no. please don't ever correct. Secondly, I want but to thank you. On ever such on ever you once once you to listen to him. Such kubo. Now, no, please, please, don't have, please, please, don't cause excitement. Only uh, such kubo you were had inside it. Let's, yeah, yeah, let's listen to Only yeah. Thank please, you. Please, so let's not exchange. Yeah. Only Varion. Thank you so much, Speaker. As you are very much aware that we have been in a struggle to look for signatures, <laughs> to debate a matter of national importance in this parliament. I want to thank God that from zero we went up to 172. We are left with five. We pray to God that we get the five. Reason being, we voted for you, Speaker. The Speaker and you, we voted for you to chair this House neutrally. Right on, Speaker, you have failed to defend this House. The President painted us clearly in Kololo during the State of the Nation address that I used to hear, but I have now confirmed with the evidence that there is corruption in the Parliament of Uganda and the Ministry of Finance. My first question is, you as the chair, as the speaker, what have you done to clean our image which has been painted bad? In the streets we are moving. They are calling us corrupt. On this same parliament, we stood, we requested you, you, you yourself and Speaker Right Honorable Anita Amon, that there is exhibition of parliament going on on issues of corruption, give us space on the other paper to have this matter debated. It is two months down the road. The world is aware that there is corruption in this parliament. We want this matter to be debated. Why are you running away from that debate? You are meant to be neutral, give space for all of us equally. Why are you making us suffer, running through this country looking for signatures? to debate this matter of corruption in this parliament. You need to come out clean. Right over speaker, you, right over Anita Mong, has been painted out for being corrupt. You name, your name has been mentioned for being corrupt. We are also having a motion to have a matter debated on the commissioners. We have our evidence. We want to lay and have them defend themselves. You are all blocking us from that. What is this parliament all about? Where are you taking this country? Today, this country is under panic. Today, they have deployed the army basically because of issues of corruption in this country. Why don't you let Ugandans free from corruption? Why don't you allow us to debate the matter of corruption in this parliament, here in this floor? It is too much. We are not thieves. All these MPs have been painted. If we know we are clean like me, screen me. We have evidence. We have evidence. So we need this matter to be debated. You need to clean your name. Deputy you Speaker, yourself. Anita Mong needs to clean her name. The commissioners need to clean their names. The ministers need to clean their names. And us MPs, if you have anything against us in this parliament, we need to clean our names. Thank you. Why don't you want this matter to be debated on this floor? Deputy Speaker, we need this matter addressed. Thank you. If not, we are ready to join the Ugandans because you are blocking us the opportunity to debate. We were voted by our voters to come and debate. Why are you running away from debate, Deputy Speaker? Why is Anita Mong running away from debate? Why? We need a parliament which is free corruption. Thank you, Honorable Varion. Th thank you. Now, 
Honorable colleague, the Honorable Arion is raising. Uh, I think Honorable is given you time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Honorable, very. Uh, 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 Honorable Arion is raising very critical issues. And uh, Honorable colleague, personally, I come from a culture where we say, I come from a culture where we say, a spirit that speaks does not kill. Yes. So only a very own speaking is not a problem. And, uh, and uh, only a own, I feel for you, but I'm very sure this same parliament has supported you here by giving you space. Uh, where you have corrected signatures over time. Uh, Honorable Rion, you have said if you've told us, you've not yet gotten the signatures. I don't know how I'll put, I don't know how I'll put on order paper a motion uh, which is premature, which has not yet met the test, as you have confessed. So, I wish you well. I, 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 I wish you well. And, uh, and uh, I think also before the public calls us corrupt, it is us one of members who have been moving around saying our colleagues are corrupt. Some of these things we put them on the public. So when Honorable Arion gets the signatures with the Honorable Search Kuba, we shall welcome you. And you will have our audience when I, because you are rightful Honorable colleagues in, uh, colleague in this house. Number two, number two, I think there is a clarification which needs to be made. I will uh, guide the chairman legal, committee on legal, on Tuesday. The chairman committee on legal and the chairman committee on budget on Tuesday. I'll give you space. You inform members because things continue moving around, around, around. You know, because what is important is what is in my heart. Me, if you call me corrupt when I'm not corrupt, it's, it's not, a, no, I don't need to, because you've not tabled evidence of me being corrupt. So I, request, I will request you table, okay? Each one of us has been accused of corruption here. Each one of us. I know even some members who, 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 who are raising the highest voices, they have been accused of corruption, but no evidence on them. And that's why the president has been very clear. He waits for evidence. For those members whom he has, uh, whom he has gotten evidence that he considers is credible, he has taken action. So I will request the chairman commit on legal and, uh, and uh, the one for budget. And the one for budget. On Tuesday, you come, you explain on these issues which have been perceived as if people sat corroded and did whatever they wanted to do. I think that clarification is very, very important. No, they are not, especially on the issue of uh, commissioners. Okay? So uh, I, will, uh, uh, I, I will do that. And then uh, finally, oh, Ono Macho and then Attorney General comes in. Oh, honorable independent. Uh, honorable speaker. Honorable we are still speaker, here, honorable I seek your protection. This is just 4 p.m. Oh, honorable speaker. Honorable speaker, I seek your protection. My brother, I'll give you information. I'll give you time. I'll give you time. The right, honorable speaker, I really want to thank you for the opportunity you have availed to me. I was over the weekend in Busia, and I was lucky to cross to Kenya. We had a function in the other side to promote the cross-border cooperation. And I was introduced in the title of Honorable, in Kiswahili is called Mweshimiwa. But when I was introduced as Mweshimiwa, there are some Gen Z young boys who changed my title from Mweshimiwa to Mweshimiwa. Mwiswamiwa means a thief of Cain. And that was a very big embarrassment. 
because Parliament of Uganda is tinted with corruption. And I really I want to agree with you and agree with all the speakers that it is high time that we speak about this vein that has really attacked our Agassi House. Uh, whereas they are speaking about, whereas Mr. Speaker, they are speaking about the Speaker, about the Commissioners, about you, we also have the writings on the wall speaking about the law, 1.7 billion. And, uh, uh, and really, I want you to agree with you that almost everybody is talked about. Even Honeberion, it is known one time they spoke about him. Honorable uh, uh, my mentor, Seki Kubo, I don't know where he is. They are calling him a land grabber. So, who therefore give us enough time so that we talk about this matter and we clean ourselves as leaders so that we build the confidence of the youngest house in the public of our voters. Because how will Honorable Sekukubo look for signatures and when he comes to Busia, they say he's a land grabber? How will Henry Berion come to talk to his people and they say he had a scan with the park? Hmm? You see, all these are matters that we should speak here publicly for Ugandans to know that and uh, 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 Ugandans to know and gain confidence in the Agassi House. Because people keep calling. Madam Sifka, you must resign. Deputy, you must resign. The commissioners, you must resign. We should also call in finance their issues there and other agencies of government. Thank you. I therefore want to thank you for this opportunity. Thank and you. Mr. Speaker, you're a wise man. I really thank you. Now, on a, there, there is something which uh, I, I think Parliament has been made a face of corruption. And the picture has been painted, for example, I don't have a job because Parliament you're stealing money because Parliament is budget is not even one percent, okay, of the national budget. So, are people get, failing to get roads because of Parliament? Are people failing to get jobs because of Parliament? Are people failing to get schools because of Parliament? Are we failing to get pay rise because of Parliament? I, I, I think we must sit, we agree, that some people won't stand on a moral high ground. And then Parliament, we look like we are the face of corruption in the country. It, it really can't, and it can't spare any of us. That's why, that, that's why I was very cautious on the issue of colleagues when I saw them going for each other the way they were doing. The president has said he has opened the own corruption. You have a duty under the constitution. The accountability. We have accountability committees. What are we losing? Let us support the president and we show him we are your ally on this. And then we don't look bad. So that is not about executive parliament and all that. No, the president is very clear on corruption. So let's all of us play our role. Attorney General Foster, clarify the other issue. Colleagues, the issue before us of corruption is not partisan. It is a matter for all of us to address. So let's not get into our political camps here because we are going to derail our fight against corruption. Let's not do that. I have seen in the past several members of the opposition carrying out their rallies. They were never arrested. Why yesterday? Let us hold police accountable, but let us also allow them to work. Let us hold them accountable and allow them to work. Colleagues, we are leaders here. For someone to say here that people were presented in court at night at night and remanded is, is wrong. You know? No, because court has working hours. Now, if listen, you see the, the problem, the problem let's, here. Let's listen to that. If we don't listen to each other. No, let's listen. If the issue is that the per person has evidence that a person was presented in court at night, outside court hours, we are here, bring it, and we're going to hold the courts to account. 
let's hold the, let's hold everyone who is in a different space to account to play by the rules upon which they are playing so let us work together and deal with this issue of corruption let us not take it into an issue of partisan politics i beg sub Th thank you honor honor our colleagues chairpersons and uh, the whips uh, prime minister Tomorrow we have a business committee meeting where we are going to discuss business scheduling for this session and conference hall at 9 a.m. Be there so that we look at the urgent business and priority of business. Then I've been informed the nine. So, so please. Okay, they are saying in the communication it is then. So go back and refer to the communication that you, <laughs> that you have. It will give you a better picture. We are even going to put you on the group and then uh, we shall also have an induction for the new committee leadership. I have found that we sometimes we make a mistake. We appoint people in leadership. We just say go and start working, which is uh, not all helpful. So we shall have a full day induction to go through and we understand each other, we see how best we can proceed.